race competition. And Toluca having scored twice in Costa Rica last week, Los Florenses and their traveling rabid supporters know they will have to score at least two goals tonight to have a chance of advancing. time continental champions as well of this competition. Looking to bring the glory days back and there's the opening West coach in a moment. Pitti Altamirano in his first season of the also in simply keeping 11 men on the pitch. That's been an issue for them in big match. They continue to get themselves sent off. It's a good switch of play out of the left. We're solid enough in defense but struggle to create and score enough goals. Very different early on in this Liga MA Eke season. They've scored 16 goals in their first six matches in league play. So this will be a free kick for Toluca. Foul committed by Orlando Gallo. He's in the heart of that Herediano midfield tonight. Clipping Alexis Vega. By itself doesn't change a lot for them. Herediano nearly giving it right back. This is smart from Orlando Gallo to calm things down. First save of the match for Tiago Volpi, and now Toluca looking to turn that into an attack at the other end. Snuffed out well, beat the last man. Mediano trying to get themselves back in this. Torres. Very vulnerable to this speed and transition from the Red Devils down for Herediano and that results in a free kick for them. Victor Artiaga involved for Toluca. Good dribble from Aaron Salazar. Keep possession. In moments, Herediano give the ball away. Credited with three big chances already. Might have another coming here. Araujo just took a heavy touch. And then judged to have wrestled his man to the floor. Araujo has had a very strong first half. Not his best first touch there. Right there able to keep it under control and then too much contact on Orlando Gallo. The whole way like that though. Alan Cruz. Orlando Gallo. And Toluca not pressed. Talked about them needing to survive those next handful of minutes after they conceded that fifth change the complexion of this tie completely. Another one for Toluca, and then it gets very, very... Eight ...across the face, bicycle effort, and finally volley clear. Another nearly... Spe Referee Armando Villarreal brings this first half to a close, and it's Los Diablos Rojo. Rios, only wearing red and yellow stripes when they're at home. They'll attack from right to left in this second half. Armando Villarreal blows his whistle and off we go. Alexis Vega snuffed out. Vega still harassed. Toluca coming out with a bit more of an aggressive press early in this second half. Scored 11 penalties over the past couple of years. Alexis Vega. They play that square ball. Didn't reach his man. Now a chance for Herediano to break. This is two on two. Red shirts racing back. Now Andy Rojas scores. 
There's one back for Herediano, and perhaps they're not quite finished tonight. What a good strike from Andy Rojas. And the traveling supporters from Costa Rica have something to celebrate tonight. 2 1 on. A needless giveaway to begin it for Toluca. They had the situation and the game completely under control, and then they give up a two on two counter. This ball forced Rojas plenty wide. Perfect strike. Can't do it any better. Yelling for a foul there, but they don't get one. And we play on. It looked like Orlando Gallo had a chance to release a man down the one replay we saw. Well, Herediano with some attacking possession now. Boy, if they could score another, this gets really interesting. Canales, good cross, comes all the way through. It's in the back of the net. It's chaotic as it is. Just on the pitch, Joshua Canales, what a good ball in. And it was tough. Thinking about lining one up from distance. It's a good sliding challenge directed on target. Herediano looks a break on the counter. And a heavy challenge, and it's going to be the first card of the night for the 78th. Late on Gallo there, caught his standing leg. See that produce. Too many red shirts in front of him. Pulls it back instead for Gallo, who switches play to the right. Several times these last three and a half minutes plus. That's not a good ball, though. Easily cut out. Not much up in the counter, but they've got to get themselves forward. Rediano have been able to. Now, of course, it's Toluca who will want as much stoppage time as possible. And for most of the night, you would have thought it would be Herediano who'd be praying for a lot. That back header could be disastrous for Toluca. Oh, what a save. Tiago, if they do, and they drive forward. And the free kick goes Herediano's way. Orlando Gallo absorbed the contact and was happy to. And it looks like, is that a red card that Armando Villarreal is holding? It is. because it's a second yellow for Mauricio Isais. He was booked in the 78th. He receives his marching orders in the 90th. And now are down a man as they chase a goal in these final minutes. Clear foul, very late on Gallo. And who would have thought when Mauricio Isais opened the scoring tonight in just the fifth minute, that not only would his side be down in the aggregate, entering stop, they even got back to Mexico. Didn't quite happen. Toluca control, throw for Herediano. Saw Villarreal look to his watch again. Everyone looking at their watches. There's the final whistle. A comeback for Costa Rican history. Shock and disbelief for Toluca who were in cruise control at half. A result that will live memorable victory in it for many years. And regardless of what else happens in the competition for them, they will always have this night, this comeback, this prayer that was answered. They have defied the odds. They have defied the Red Devil.